Hello McWarriors, how is it going? And welcome to another episode of Rogue Tech. Guys, we have super heavy mech parts, finally. I would say we're gonna take our time to build those things. But before we go, we need to get some money. Because first of all, we are in the negatives and we cannot build our mechs then. And then we also need a lot of money probably to actually put some items into those mechs. So what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna finally scrap the marauder that i wanted to build a long time ago but i never got into it so goodbye marauder that thing is gonna go we will also drop the timber wolf lamb i know it's a good one but anyways we don't need that thing anymore scrap it scrap it scrap it the new patches are on the horizon guys so i'm not gonna bother with anything that i don't want to play with anymore so the mad cat can go scrap it up and by the way, scrapping and selling, basically the same thing. Um, the items will fall out, we get the same amount of money, so that's fine. The Kraken is a fantastic mech. However, we're gonna scrap that thing. Um, the Phoenix Hawk, yes, I know. Scrap that thing. <laughs> we go to Vehicle Bay, Lightning. You know what we do? We scrap that thing. And I think this is it for the moment. We have 2 million Seabills, that's gonna be enough. <clears throat> So, I was already tinkering with those mechs a little bit, you know, I was kind of building them, taking a look at them, and then, you know, messing around with them, and then was reloading to this state, because I wanted to know what, what I'm up for here. And I actually made a decision. While the Thunderstone is a 190 ton assault mech, uh, not assault, super heavy mech, um... And we can load it up with PPCs and proto heat sinks and stuff like that. It, yes, it works. But what I, I'm more excited about is this one here. We have the Devaster with one ballistic hard point. I know, only one, but 12 missile hard points. And I don't really want to make it like a full missile mech. But I have a very particular weapon that I want to try. I could also do it on the Devaster here. But this one I feel like has more options with all of these missiles. So we're going to ready that guy up. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. And I mean, we can also take a look at the Thunderstone as well. There is not... Yang said something about something something lamb. Um... Excuse me? Hold up. This thing is not flying capable, right? <laughs> no. Man, I should have read this. I should have read this. So, here's the Thunderstone. It is a, like a big, big 190-ton uh, mech, which has the multi-track perk, which is amazing. It's really good. Um, so we could do something like, again, uh, fill it up with protos, get uh, accuracy on the arms, get a bunch of ERPPCs on the arms, um, have a good time with that. Not a thing that we're going to do. I want to keep my money together because I have another thing in mind, and that is getting this bad boy ready to go. 20 days just to repair, but that's all right. That's perfectly fine. We have the super heavy gyro here. We could actually already build this. Ish. A little bit. A little bit. So what I want is, first of all, an XL engine. Bam, 10 million C builds. <laughs> it's crazy, right? It is so crazy. Um, I also want a 400 rated engine, the biggest one, so we can at the very least move for two and sprint for four so that's great and yes i talked about the very specific weapon that i want to put in the mech and it is not a machine gun it is uh it's the light rail gun that we own actually let me go over here while we are doing it it's 275 damage pinpoint at 1200 meters that is just fantastic it only fits into a side torso and you know, this site also has a lot of slots, so we gotta use that. So that's gonna be our main weapon. And the good news is we already prepared for it. We have four tons of ammo. That is a total of 12 shots. We'll put it in the legs, because why not? And actually, this railgun ammo cannot explode. Put it in the center. Why not? Let's go. So, there we go. Super Heavy Gyro. Yes, we also have one of those. Let's go Super Heavy XL. Also, Super Heavy Endo Steel. That's right. We are, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Um, on top of that, on top of that, um, bu -bu -bu, we are at 12 million sea bills. Um, we could go for something like a ferrofibrous. It's 13 million sea bills. All right. We'll get there. Um, what I want is a good fire control system. We need optics three, ideally. Maybe I can find them somewhere. Uh, Exchanger client is fantastic. We're gonna take that because we will also put some support weapons in the mech 
I want enhanced imaging. I want gunnery A and B. And I want a good sensor. Tracker for long and extreme range accuracy. Could be good. This thing is extremely slow. Hold up. Hold up. We don't have jump jets. That's the thing I know. <clears throat> Supercharger? Doesn't work. Um... Uh, speedy leg actuators? Do they work? They work. Wait, this is movement. We get one walk pip, one walk hex, but we don't get any more sprint hexes out of that. For the cost of eight stability per leg. So negative 16. Here's the thing. The super heavy frame has 40% stability damage reduction. We will not get knocked down that much. So we could technically use those speedy leg actuators to just get a bit of more movement. Not sprint mint, but movement. Um, anyways. Um, radical double heat sink kit is fantastic here. We're gonna use that. We will probably also run... Hmm. An emergency coolant system plus four. That sounds good. Uh, we still have no fire control system and no sensors. So sensors... Yet again, I do believe we will be firing at long range all the time. Tracker is good here. All right. So, our FCS. What's it gonna be? We have a bunch of options here. Obviously, ballistic. That's pretty good. But we only have one ballistic uh, that we are running right now. And there are no more hard points. So, I would say we need a mixed fire control system. We have the improved clan. I'm looking for the predator here. Predator is just good. It's just flat good. It works with plus two accuracy at our, our relevant ranges, and it gives us night vision. That's basically what we need. We're also going to add optics, probably. Um, there's also an option for all of this. We could go for this here. For a plus two offensive push accuracy, trying to go for like specific components on our enemies with the railgun, and then also use the battle computer optics here. I think we can afford it. The question is, do we want better component targeting? This gives us a 20% bonus, or do we want more raw accuracy? This only gives us a... This gives us no bonus to uh, component targeting here, but a plus one accuracy to actually hit. This is not clear, actually. I think I'm gonna go with the plus one offensive accuracy and the 20% target bonus. All right, so we have battle computer upgrades uh, unlocked now. That means we'll take the heat battle computer, we'll take the optics battle computer. This thing has lots of recoil, correct? Five, yes, thank you. It's a problem, actually. We need a recoil dampener or something. We have only one recoil reduction here. Mm -mm -mm. So two more from our pilot perks makes this a still two recoil weapon. We gotta think about that. Also, it has a self-knockdown chance, but we don't really care about that too much because it's 46%. And here's the thing. Our super heavy frame has a 30% reduction for knockdown. That's already pretty good. So we are at 16. And we also have 150 ton mech. And every 10 tons is 1% of knockdown reduction, if I remember correctly, right? So th that thing uh, is down to 1% of self-knockdown. And then... I also believe that every point of piloting is a percent? Eh, I need to read up on that again. So I don't think that we will ever knock down. It's gonna be all right. The railgun is the perfect weapon for this. The problem is um, that we are kind of running into our uh, threshold here. Do we take extreme range? I don't think so, actually. Nah, we're fine. So heat optics recall. And you might be like, why are you putting so much heat management into the mag? The reason being that I probably want to add some other weapons. We don't have energy hard points here. Oh well. Oh well. So it's gonna be missiles. Um, It is gonna be missiles. And I mean... The dire wolf is fine and everything. But I believe we want to take all of our LRMs and put it right here, correct? How many can we put in there? We can probably run like six LRM 15s. I think we have the tonnage. We have the heat management. 
This might be it, guys. This might be it. So this is 32 days and 13 million C bills. All right. I'm going to start to work on this guy. Yes, I know. And now I'm going to make a cut and we see each other when I have fixed my money problems. All right, guys, here we go. I sold a bunch of engines. I flushed out my mech lab and I only have some of my sold mech parts left. So this is the only thing I got. Uh, everything else, heavy, medium, light and everything is gone. Again, I had so much stuff lying around that I didn't use anymore. And now we are sitting at a solid 4.7 million C bills. I... Uh, also dropped the dire wolf completely which opened up some very interesting build options and we will talk about that in a second and yes i will completely wait a full month in order to get devisturb online i want this guy on the battlefield and i wanted to do it now today um let's trade for supplies we get some tech points which is very very good here um that reduces our repair time or build time of the devisturb like dramatically and I do believe that while Hero is or was really good on the Dire Wolf, I think I want to put Hero on this thing here because Hero has the Breaching Shot ability on every single weapon system. Uh, we're going to try to talk the way uh, out of the situation. But it's not a big deal. Jamie is out for seven days and our rebuild time is going to take even longer. So here we go, guys. Let's take a look at Zemek Bay into Super Heavy. Yeah, Thunderstone. I don't know if we ever run this guy in order to build it the way I want. It needs like 20 million C bills. <laughs> but hey, here we are. So one thing that fell out of my Dire Wolf was a turret mount. Cannot be used with torso. Ah, uh, I think... We are not allowed to put a railgun on a turret mount. Aw, oh, come on. Really? That is not okay, but all right. So we got our Endo and Ferro upgrades, that's perfect. What we want now is we want to slap as many LRMs on the mech as possible. I want to be able to shoot stuff while we are closing in. Can we have six? We can have, we easily can have six. Oh, do we want seven? That's my question here. Oh, that's so fantastic. I love it. That also makes it, a reasonable choice to put a critical and a missile battle computer in here and we've got the multi-track which is also really good like so damn good all right all right we have no nova we're gonna need a kind of nova cews hmm put that here i don't know where to put my stuff honestly okay so there we go so we have our our ecm covered um Railgun plus 6 LRM-15 clan. That sounds like a plan. What I also want is a... Is a is a weapon mount accuracy. For even more accuracy. And now the rest of the tonnage is 10 tons of ammo and we're good? Maybe? I mean, in terms of cooling, we're fine. We have negative 15. We could even drop a little bit if we wanted to. And... Since we got the optics battle computer... We could maybe use the specialist slot for something else. A heat bank. That is the, the value of one heat sink. More or less. One and a half. I think I drop optics and get the, the, the Mark III. It's just better. All right, so there we go. Uh, we drop a bit of back armor because I believe we will never get surrounded, really. I hope so at the very least. And again, the rest of the mech is just ammunition i'd say let's go ahead and take a look at lrm ammo we need oh wait we need no artemis ammo we have fast cam everybody knows that that is amazing no let's not do it swarm one swarm two okay where's the rest of the ammo seven tons we need every single one of them Actually, I want the swarm on the side also. And the regular ammo in the legs. There we go. Now we got that going. So, we also... Let's put this here so I'm not confused with this. Uh, we also have two tons left over right now. That is almost enough for one more LRM. Missile recoil heat multi-track. I feel like I want another battle computer and I want the critical one. 
See, every battle computer helps us with a call shot. We get a plus 4% modifier to our aim with the railgun, and I think it's needed. We could also take an extreme range one. Recoil is there, heat is there, missile is there. There's one more turn. We got our Nova. And AMS is not an option, sadly. I could also drop these speedy legs. Oh, another thing I wanted to quickly check. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Now, I did, now that I installed the engine, I was browsing through my engines. And I wonder, what if we drop it to th 380? It's 3 and 3. I want the fourth movement. 360. I mean, we can save a lot of weight here by sacrificing one pip of movement, but I believe we want all of it. <laughs> as much as it hurts me. Yes, we'll take it. All right. So, that's gonna be my build for the moment. The question really is, what is the last ton? I believe it's gonna be another battle computer. Because it's gonna be helpful. The extreme range for the missiles, mainly. The plus two accuracy there, seems good. Tracker sensor is here. We have night vision in form of optics. We have the OP accuracy here. I believe... This is gonna be it. Actually, what I want is a tracker and I want a ballistic fire control system or battle computer, but we don't have that. Nah, whatever. Okay, guys, this is my Devisturb. There are many like this, but this is mine. I think I'm gonna build it like that. So, here we go. 150 ton of awesome. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. So, nine days and we have a super heavy mech on the battlefield. We even have like two million sea bills. That's pretty cool. All right, let's devisturb. Let's go to the command center. I really hope for a duel, by the way. I want to see if this thing can stand on its own. Um, there's a conflict. It's an urban conflict. Uh, let's let's not do it right now. You know what? What we are doing is, um, we're gonna take a nice test mission. All right, a battle in the lowlands. Operation plan to raid Devi and logistic base. Deal everything. Blah, blah, blah. The missing element is me. We need you to draw the Deviant Patrol so that we can move into the base. We figure you hit the patrol, they can call in reinforcements and so on. I think... Oh, it's one of these high tier ones. Uh, I mean... Uh, I mean... We can gather some money here. Clumsy cowboy. Capture base highlands. Seems good. We could ambush a convoy. You know, actually that sounds fun. Let's go and do that. We're playing against the pirates. I'm gonna take some salvage here. Money is not one of our issues currently. And we need to manage our tonnage now. So last time we were playing, we got all of these goodies here. I think taking the Atlas out is a no-brainer. We're gonna take you in, Devisturb, and we're gonna bring Hero. Mmm, Hero doesn't have the... Focus Fire perk. Oh, Hero also doesn't have uh, the military or ex-military background for recoil reduction. Ah! Who do we take then? Also, Hero is not an assassin for extra cold shot accuracy, so I'm gonna take Mr. Jaster here. Zap. Is it a ducker wolf? I mean... No. Not you. We are over tonnage anyways. So the practitioner is not great. Are you an assassin? You're not an assassin. No, we are fine. We're fine in terms of tonnage now. I think this is gonna be my squad. We had to shave a little bit. But I don't want to miss out on these guys. Yes. Alright. Could it be Popo? Hold up. Popo is pretty good, on the, pretty good on the King Crab. Also, he's not an assassin. Jamie, you need to be on the Marauder, technically, because you're the guy on the Marauder. What about Björn? Björn is not an assassin. I think Jester on the Devisturb is the best call here. The absolute best call. He is military, ex-military? Yes. The negative one recoil and OP accuracy is fantastic here. I am going to use him as my... Sniperoni. Let's go ahead and deploy. 
All right, here we go. Now, I took this mission mainly because I wanted something rather easy to play, but also because tanks don't have that many components and we might be able to crack them with our super cool... Um, what's it called? Uh, not Gauss Rifle. Railgun. It's a railgun. It's a freaking railgun. So we are here in the denial zone. This is the path of the convoy. We can drop behind the denial zone. I will totally do that. So the enemies will come to us and we can face them head on without being afraid of being backstabbed. That's great. So here we go. Let's do it. Oh, by the way, this gap here. Does it upset you? It upsets me right now. <laughs> All right, so we have a support lands. We have a obviously convoy and an escort. If we destroy the convoy down to 50%, there might be reinforcements. That's the thing that we have to deal with. Also, we dropped so far away that they are getting a free turn, which is not good. Because the closer they are, the harder it is for us to deny them. Let's see. I want to have a turn too. All right, the fight begins now. I mean, not technically the fight. We are still in the uh, positioning positioning phase. We got a Condor and the Stygian. Sea Dog. As well as a Maxime. Okay. So, Sea Riders, convert. <laughs> Autoports roll out. Let's do it. It's taking a little time. Little motorbikes are already here. But now we can sprint. Okay, perfect. So let's stay down and cover. And I mean cover literally. I have trees around me and we are a little little lower. Breaking line of sight. This condor is really fast. It's part of the escorts, by the way. You can see it with the dashed cross. It's not a full cross. It has a little like intersection here. So we can take them out easily without a problem. I am not really afraid of them, to be honest. So this is a full cross. The Drillson is part of the actual convoy. We gotta take him. And the chariot. Thunderbolt, rockets, heavy rifle. Where are the mechs? I mean, I appreciate that the tanks are moving fast, so we can destroy them easily, and they are completely disconnecting from their, from their escort. But what mission is this? I don't want it to be too easy. Hello, game. Throw something at me, please. Weird. Absolutely weird. All right. So let's uh, let's move. Let's take it slow. Move and brace is, I think, better than sprinting around. Turn twenty-one. We got the bombers. Sure. Get in there, buddy. There we go. And the game is not lost when one of these guys is coming in here. The game is lost when all of the remaining guys are in the denial zone. What do you want? So you can basically wait for them to get in here, take him down, and then wait for the next guy to come in here. But if the last guy is coming in there and he has no bodies anymore, he's instantly going to evac. So you got to be careful with that. Let's uh, put the imaging to on. Is it just tanks? It can't be. There has to be more. I mean, they also have a support lands. This is just their convoy and their escorts. Where's the support? Ah? Huh? We don't see anything yet. You ain't see nothing yet. Here we go. Turn 17. The good news is, at the very least, the game is pretty fast. And that's what a thing that I really do appreciate. Also, I do like the Daka Wolf. I think we built a beautiful mech with that thing. Uh, jump around. Imaging on. Brace it up. And then we got Bjorn with the Gausses. Could also jump around. Yeah, sure. Imaging on. Bam. There we go. Oh, wait. We're not done yet. Rhino to the low ground. Being such a big mag makes it clunky and very, very slow. So we can sprint for four evasion. And again, this is what I wanted. It's kind of important here. So we move. Go enhanced imaging. And we're done. Turn 10. Is this an indicator for battle armor? Yeah. They're reserving down because they have nothing to do. Because they are kind of bound on a, on a unit. Yep. 
So battle armor is somewhere on the battlefield. We don't know where yet, but it doesn't matter too much. Let the fight begin. Spawn protection removed. Cool. Yeah. Let's get in there and get an overview. Condor is an actual problem. I think I'm gonna start shooting this guy with my stuff that is not a one shot or two shot. It's fine. It's fine. What do you want? There's Jamie. Question is, do we engage or do we let them come closer? I think I let them come closer. Not only will my uh, my my range brackets be better, but I can also be a bit safer. Don't have to push out that hard. We can just hold it here. And I kind of want to manipulate their evasion a bit more. Which means they have to move first. So I can then take everything away. He's moving backwards though. Hmm. Awkward. Turn 22. Uh, again, same thing. We're gonna hold. Here's the sea dog. Here's my AMS. Thank you. Oh, by the way, did we lose an AMS? I think we lost an AMS or two. Uh, because we are not running the Dire Wolf anymore. The D Wolf, I believe, had an integrated laser AMS and a Mark II. So that's a significant amount of defense that we lost. Chariot. Heavy rifle. Okay, everything missed. Beautiful. I cannot wait for my counter attack. Oh, here's the Drillson. That thing is fast. And he is also packed with missiles. Ah. He's also a pretty bad pilot. <laughs> okay. There we go. Here's Maxime. I am still wondering. Where is the firepower? Dudes, I went for full yes. salvage. Come on. <laughs> okay. Let's roll. So we're gonna get the Timby in here. And I will attack Mr. Chariot, I believe. Make it a fire and forget shot. Guns on target. One down. All right. I went Inferno here because it deals more damage to vehicles. But maybe I shouldn't because we only have a very limited amount of these shots. And if a mech comes in, we might want to overheat him. Super weird shot. Um, All tanks here, huh? All tanks here. Ah, there we go. So, we found somebody. It's Oh, it's Jonathan. Jonathan is super dangerous. What's my hit chance on Jonathan? It's low. So then, we're gonna drop some bombs. Um, yeah, let's do it like that. And it's actually an arrow with AGMs. All right. Couldn't quite kill the flintlock. But again, as soon as we destroyed 50% of the convoy, there might be reinforcements. I don't want to make it artificially more dangerous. But I'm also kind of impatient and I want to have a real target in front of me. Jonathan is. Avenger rifle and NLRMs are devastating. Really dangerous. We gotta do something about it. Maybe overheat him or so. He's moving now. Okay. He's not shooting. He is not shooting. I love it. Also, cover and bulwark. Okay. He sprinted. We found the Hyper Assault Gauss build. It's probably Linda the King Crab. <laughs> okay. Or a Stone Rhino. Could be a Rhino. Nah, it's Linda. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So we have some real opponents. That's good. It's good for my... I want to get like an overview of how the build works. Uh, you are running battle armor, Mr. Drillson, huh? Okay. Should probably take you down then. 
Ugh. Hold up. We have no hit chance on the archer. That thing is so protected. It's crazy. Um, I don't want to really destroy the flintlock right now. Let's actually go for the drillson instead. And we go incendiary once more. Enemy reinforcements detected. Where do they drop? Behind me? Yes, of course. Of course they would. No. Oh, we will never get outflanked. Is the guy? Says the guy in the mech lab, huh? Ah, still 200 armor plates. Why are you here? Ay ay ay. Marauder, a roughneck. It's uh, manageable. That's a Devil's 20, AC 20, Atlas. What can I say? We're outflanked. Uh, I'm not sure where I want to drop my bomber. Okay, let's push it forward a little. It's 27%, 19%, 30 something percent. Can we hit Linda with the heavy gals? No, not really. All right, we're gonna go for the highest hit chance we can. And we cracked the tank. All righty then. I'm always very, uh, also very curious about the the minimum range of the railgun. By the way. So Daisy Cutter on the Atlas. That's my goal. Kablam! Tag to the top! Daisy Cutter 54, uh, hopefully it's good enough and it's not hitting my Rhino. Um, do we drop a bomb here? Or is it a missile? We can drop a Phoenix. Sure. Did not kill. But with a bit of luck we can kill him next round. Or maybe... Maybe even now. Maybe we have the Rhino. Oh, yes. Let's go. That might be a kill. Come on. The Atlas is down. This is my biggest problem I had. Wait. No, not necessarily. Hold up. Oh, there's a unit right on top of me. I was wondering where the last guy is, but it's a dervish, and it's, I think, fine. Hmm. 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 Jump. Jump and shoot. Jump and shoot what? Jump and shoot you? The archer has a problem. A huge a problem. So if I shoot this way, there might be a stray shot against the back of my Timby, and that's the thing I don't really like. I will probably wait and see what, like, Popo can do. Decent hit chance on the Roughneck. This might be, like, um, like an overheat shot. We could. We could. And I will. Okay, so, sight attack. This is the best we can. Let's go. Hello, Roughneck. I got incendiary shots. And I also got Inferno SRMs. Get overheated, my friend. Zip. Come on. He is not showing the red. Okay. Mm, awkward. Well... We'll take Jester now. Oh, that's right. We have a 360 spin. That's so good. We have no minimum range on the railgun, by the way. That's, that's just crazy. Um, sure. I mean, I can attack the flintlock. Could. So this is my spot. The question is, what do we attack? The Sea Dog is an easy target. 
Can we hit Linda? No, we cannot. Huh. I mean, guns off the board. Wait, we have multi-track. Oh, we got multi-track. That's per Oh, God, multi-track with 360 spin. Oh, I wasn't even thinking about it. Um, yeah, that's, that's garbage. Let's uh, get it back. Is the bandit hittable? Eh. I don't really care about these guys. Now we have to take care of the max here. So let's go with a, with a dervish attack. And then we're gonna hit one of my LRMs at the flintlock. Kabam! Eats the missiles. Alright! So we basically won the video game. <laughs> now we need to survive. Either by destroying everybody or getting to evac. So that's good. That's really, really good. Do I just melee this guy? 42%. What could possibly go wrong? Hmm. I'd end up with no evasion and Jonathan is coming in. Ah, uh, this is awkward. So awkward. We just don't have any hit chance. Okay, tapping through, I'm gonna give the shot to the guy with the highest hit chance. Which is probably this guy. Oh, buddy, don't hit your friend! Good. We're fine. Taking damage. Ah! No, that was Jamie saying, hold up. Yeah, he got hit a little, little bit. I think he ate one projectile. Okay. Cool. So, what happens now? A new turn is gonna happen. And we have the initiative. These backstrikes are not worth anything, really. Not really. So, we could manipulate initiative by using offensive push. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess you have just one job, which is destroying this one here. Alright. Heavy rifle, SRMs. I want to keep my LRMs still. We don't really have a hit chance anyways. Ah, not quite down. This guy is sturdy. Comes the Condor. I have no good idea how to deal with the Archer there. Again, this guy is extremely accurate. And then we also have the King Crab problem. The guys behind us? Mm, they are not that big of a deal. I can sense a lock. Okay, let's sense a lock. Negative two. Wanna attack his right side, ideally. In an unobstructed way, so we need to turn on the supercharger. Okay. Um I wanna end up here. But again, the obstruction is a bit of a problem. There we go. That is it. It's not the best hit chance in the world. But it's mine. So again, initiative manipulation. Let's get this roughneck out of the way. Maybe even kill. Hey, that's something. We got two lasers and a PPC destroyed. And we got an engine crit. Cool. He's also down to turn 13. So easy prey. Mm, yeah. This is where we also try to bring back the Stealth Bomber. I don't know if we can, though. Because he's down to 14. We lost track of the King Crab as well. Mm -mm, this is not good. Means we need to put more targets to the front line. Alright. So far, so good. Turn 21. So we have the Stygian... 
with pirate ATMs hmm. and flamers. So it's a hot boy. I think he's running Inferno missiles on those. Yeah, there are the Hydras. But nothing is coming in because of AMS. Love it. What are you, though? We might get lucky, by the way, and the archer might just move to the back line somewhere to set up. He's not in a particularly good spot. He might come up here and shoot us, sure, but he might also try to go down here or back there. There's the dervish. Oh, that's a backstrike. Point blank AMS, baby. All right, that worked well. What do you want? Ja Jamie and the Timberwolf. I don't know why I'm Germaning so much right now. <laughs> okay, so let's get up here. Let's go. Yeah, vigilance. Could crack a tank. Sixteen is not good enough. Is the guy stealthed? Yeah, he has a void system. Okay, so we need to sensor lock the guy in order to get any point, like any chance of hitting this guy. Also, turret mount in the center. What are you running there? Like, why do we have a turret mount there? Is this one of these things that extends to the sides? No, right? Not really. Hmm, whatever. Okay, so since we cannot really do anything, I'm gonna go standard shot against the Stygian just to take him down. Bam. Get some resolve, Mr. Jamie. So you got your sensor lock ability ready next round. Take that, bastard. Okay. Turn 20. We found the king crab again. And I really want to drop my railgun on him. Here's the Maxime. It's a little bouquet of everything. Has LRMs, machine guns, SRMs and attack. Not particularly dangerous. We can deal with it. Turn 19. The Flying Marauder. Wants to stay here for the moment as well. Somebody has to deal with the Roughneck, so we're gonna do that. Um, no Daisy Cutter, obviously. Is it Phoenix? I think we have Hellfire as well. He's open already, so let's get the criticals out. It's 20 shots. I like it. Fire. Alright. So now, he is so little of a threat that I can completely and utterly ignore him this round. Oh wait, actually... Um, we made him unsteady. I wanted to say we can let him come out of his spawn protection now. So that we can then shoot him properly, but that is now given because of the unsteady state that he is in. Perfect. 18 is the Marauder. This is gonna get interesting. He might get a back shot against one of our guys. That's why Jonathan is so scary. Ow. Okay. Okay, we have an unsteady dire wolf and a marauder here. That's not good. Turn 18, baby. I think this also might be one of the last guys here. Yeah, crap. Oh, uh, we got a rock 5 destroyed. And we have a knockdown. And we have a marauder. Ah, crap. Crap, crap, crap. This is not looking good. So, buddy. Pick your targets carefully. I mean, there's a super heavy mech. Go for it. Oh, boy. We survived it. Holy crap. So, what we need to do now is we need to bring our uh, dire wolf to safety somehow. Holy macaroni. Um, I'll do it like this. Get the dervish out of the way. Go precision because I want to destroy SRMs. Here we go. 
Dervish is gone. Perfect. Ordering matters a lot now. Okay, turn 16 is still an active turn. Um, the Roughneck needs to go, but I think the Dire, the dire Wolf can easily do it by just turning around. Also, this one is faster than the 13 on the Roughneck. Okay. Stand up, my friend. I think our Rotary 5 is nothing that we cannot rebuild. Also, we got Clan Rotaries that I completely forgot. Uh-oh. Oh. No movement, you say? Why? Oh, we actually have movement. Okay, 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 okay. So, yes, this is my spot. We're gonna go down here. Precision shot. Fire away. Oh, he's not dead. Ah, crap. Alright, who is turn 14? It's the bomber that I wanted to draw back anyway. Um, mm hmm, mm hmm. We have to defend. I'll actually shoot the thumper as well. Balam. Okay. Mm <laughs> hmm, There we go. Here comes Kaspar. Moving back like a boss, and we're gonna drop some AGMs, some streaks, some... Yeah, we need one damage. I think it's one AGM. Just to make sure. Okay. So, we have somewhat cleared the back line. We're not quite done yet, though. Okay. My railgun. Hold up, we got implants. That means we can shoot and then move afterwards. That's correct. And I do believe we are in refire now, correct? Yes, refire plus two. Um, alright. Offensive push should actually upgrade our uh, hit chance. Does. Not for the railgun, though. Anyways. Let's go for center directly. 74% to hit that. Oh, baby. Alright. And then for just good measure, the LRMs. On top of that. That should also give us a lot of resolve back so we can do it next round again and again and again. And now we are pushing forward. Cool. So the back line is secured. Cool. I'll do a thing now. First, jam this guy with our uh, warfare suite. Also, why am I not using my searchlight? Then... I'm gonna use Phantom so that I'm not getting hit this round, and we're gonna drop the bombs on this guy. That was not good. Nope. Still battle armor somewhere. So Jon Jonathan is certainly one of my next targets. Sensor lock now. What happens if I do it? Got them dialed in. I was thinking about either offensively pushing this guy and wasting my shots so that somebody else can follow up, or doing this. Ah, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So can we can we not run through the fire? Thank you. I feel like I have to inferno him. My other missiles would only deal one more damage. So let's go with the heat. I would say we succeeded. That's great. Cool. Or not so cool for him. Ugh, Linda is a... Oh. That king crab is so dangerous, but it decided to... Possibly not shoot, but instead call in a uh, strafing run. Interesting. 
Yes. No. Did both. Ow. Oh, it hurts. So much. But stability is not one of our problems. That's the good news. Ha. Huh. Fine, 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 fine. I think we might have won by now. He failed his override. That's great. That's so good. Am I gonna do it? Let's go. <laughs> I'm greedy. Let's do it. So the bandit, not the most dangerous target. The other one as well. I'm gonna drop precision ammo. Well, we got some damage in. It's nice. Devastator. This is out of the red zone, correct? Hope so. Really do hope so. It's not my Devastator. Oh, it's my Stealth Bomber. I took the wrong unit. Which is actually okay. Because I'm here to drop some bombs anyways. Sensor lock the back line. I want to kill him this round. Ideally with the railgun. So. Drop the bombs here. so close but the other guy took a good chunk of damage as well so these are my devastators that's pretty good we can possibly kill we found the battle armor it's under maxime but the condor is my target oh wait we are jammed huh yeah jamming plus three probably coming from like jonathan up here or maybe one of the other guys it doesn't matter here we go Yeah, it literally didn't matter. <laughs> this guy is still active. So what's your deal? I really hope he's not pushing my damage dire wolf. Moving back. Yes. Good. You better run. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. This is my only target. It's not a bad target. I also have Jonathan in, in range. I should probably do that, huh? Keep him up. Just keep him hot. He resisted an injury, so we got one headshot. Yeah, but the damage was underwhelming. All right, so, Maxime. I really wonder what he's uh, transporting there. Could be extremely, extremely bad for us. Okay. That was not what I expected. That's fine. Um... Get the bandit out of the way, seems good. Get the archer out of the way, seems good. Wait, hold up. Ah, oh, I cannot shoot my kill kinetic kill missiles at the king crab. That would have been so great. Well, that's a no. Guess that's a yes then. Let's use up some of the missiles that we still have. Here we go. On the bandit. Didn't quite kill him, but alright. Another turn 20. Now it's time for the Maxime. Oh man, this mission is hmm, more dangerous than I thought it would be, actually. Since we already sustained a good chunk of damage on that right side torso. And the center. Alright, here's the Rhino. He's still supercharging, which is okay. I like that. I should attack Linda. I should. 
Jonathan is easy prey. He's not even acting this round. I think I want to get some initiative next round, so let's go with this. 40% damage reduction. Crazy. But hey, every point of damage is good. There we go. So the last guy active is, I believe, the battle armor on the Maxime. I don't think he's gonna do a lot. Oh, actually, there's an Emperor! <gasps> oh no. This guy's dangerous. Crap! Crap, crap, crap! Turret mount destroyed! Yeah, we gotta, we gotta leave that. Huh? Huh? Alright. I think it's time to actually finish things. Man, I wanted to try that railgun on the Jonathan. But maybe we just destroy that guy and use the railgun on something that is in the back line. Oh my god. Fine. Healed. Wanna go there? You should still be protected by Phantom this round. We have options. But then there are these batteries, right? That the Etienne, the Emperor, is running. Ugh, scary. Oh. We also found the battle axe. So. This here was not coming from the King Crab. It was coming from a battle axe. Interesting. Could try to attack Linda. It's also a stealth banshee. Alright, we found our targets. Let's uh, go. Great. Um, basic manipulator. So they had some tunnel rats or whatever. Uh, that's the battle armor. It's pretty cool because we also destroyed them with massive AoE. So, what now? I mean, that's a hit chance. Only 104 damage from the railgun. King Crab. That is damage reduction. It's crazy. The Banshee doesn't have that. Okay. I'll go for another offensive push. We're gonna try to hit leg at 84%. That's really nice. It's a Psycho Pump, though. This is a melee Banshee. We should take the side tour. Ah! If we take the leg, we're fine. If. Santa Torso. Honestly, not what I wanted. Not what I wanted at all. Left side twist. Here we go. Keep up the push. So, we have a strafe run and my Timberwolf is not in a good spot. He's in the red zone. There it is. Missed. Oh, so good. Just a scratch, Commander. I was asking for more enemies and we found them. So now it's about surviving this. 28 on the crab. This could be our Cascatel. Mm, I don't know. We have 11 evasion and stealth. Should be, of, should be fine. Should be okay. Battle axe. What are you running? It's not gonna be okay. It's not. The King Crab is gonna take my Cascatel. Damn it. Yeah, I know what I did. I wasn't... I wasn't prepared for those stealthy mechs. Alright. What the hell? That was friendly fire! All right, I'll take it. It's another shot coming at my Timby. No. So, Linda, do your worst. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, schmerfect. Now we need to take the Psycho Pump out, or at the very least away, because he only has a super shotgun and small pulses, but they might grind through my armor there, so 
Sprint it up. Oh, we are... Ah, we have two of these. Yes, yes, yes. Two of the red zone thingies. Speaking of red. I'm gonna generate a lot of heat if I do this. I could go here? I believe. Yeah, we gotta do it now. Okay. We gotta do it now. It's just an offensive push. Whatever we hit, we hit. If we hit nothing, it's fine. Uh, we have an arrow, so at the very least we can do some splash damage. Uh, let's go. Not too bad. We opened him up. That's pretty good, actually. Rhino. Rhino is at 15% on the supercharger, but I will accept it. Don't blow up. Okay, we're fine. And we want to try to hit him. Maybe we get an engine crit or so. So there's that. Reinforced armor destroyed. Doesn't matter too much. 24. We would lose the bomber if the strafe run hits us. So that's gonna be our attack. Hey, yeah, yeah. We still have AGMs. Yeah. We go for center. We go hellfire though, because we have more instances for a crit. And that's it. Pushing down. <laughs> Void system destroyed. All right, fine. Good. Is the Emperor gonna attack us? Because I think he has the absolute counter attack to battle armor with those batteries, those Gauss batteries. It's also a chance we kill here. I'll do it. I'll go all in. <laughs> that was nothing. Okay. <laughs> it's fine though. Okay, so hit. Run. Run, run, run away. I don't know where to yet, but you better get out of here. Oh, wait, there's a bit of a ditch. That's great. Yeah, we just run her way. Just go. Couldn't ping. No, oh, did ping anyway. <laughs> what is it already? All right, my friend, you also need to get out of the red zone. That's a good chance to hit the Banshee. Commander. Here we go. Fire. Guns on target. We're just gonna wait it out. Come on. Got a beat on us. Here we go. Take that, bastard. Mm -hmm. Looking good. Pretty good, actually. What's my hit chance? It's Garbo. It's absolute Garbo. All right. Could make a jump and attack the tank. Well, sure. Sure, it's a thing that we can possibly hit. Great. Also gives us a resolve. That's nice. And now we have to deal with two targets. Is that the last thing? No, three. The Battle Axe, Etienne, and Linda. Guess I'm gonna wait until they come to me. Huh, I also need this away. <laughs> Really hope that we are out. Okay. 
Nothing bad happened. I also lost focus. But we somehow need to crack this. Um... Uh, that is not okay. Whatever you were thinking. Stop it. Was the light ultra gals? Yeah, man. This is so, so dangerous. They have range and everything. So, where's the spot where I'm not getting attacked? Here. I have to. I have to. Wizard is just out. Uh, hold your resolve right now. Hold it. Lobster, mobster. So everything's obstructed. So we get on the road, so that we can close in a bit faster next round. And... God, do we have anything? Like, this guy is stealthed as well? I wonder if I should even bother shooting. Because of the jams. Give him hell, whatever. If we can heat him up a little bit, our advanced optics are gonna kick in because we have thermal vision. That's really, really good. So, now, we need to make a right side twist happen somehow. We deal more damage to Etienne, but we have a better hit chance on Linda. Don't think we kill if we go for center. Oh, by the way, you need a headshot battle computer in order to headshot. It's not possible from the get-go. We could try to go for leg, though. We had to deal less damage there. If we hit. Let's see. Alright. We hit side torso. And the important part is that we also pushed it back a little bit next round. Okay, and then again, the right side twist, it needs to happen. Let's not move into the the bad zone. Is this part of it? I hope not. Okay. We also have cover. Bam! 20% damage reduction, baby. Straight front is coming in now. Nobody's getting hit. Ah, perfect. It's still on. Shouldn't be. Linda is at 22. That's lovely. But Etienne is at 27. Actually, I thought it was Gauss batteries. It's light ultra Gauss rifles, so double shot weapons. There's a battle axe here still, by the way. I'm looking at my own initiative right now, and I don't know if we can manipulate it hard enough to get things going. I mean, possibly. I'll do it. I think the Battle Axe has already taken its turn at turn 30, so we'll do a an, an offensive push. <sighs> Hold up. That's not smart, right? How many people do we actually have? We have 20 in the Marauder, 22 in the Dire Wolf, 20 on our King Crab. 27 on the Timby. I think it's not gonna be enough. We need to push Linda further. And accept the Etienne. Let's go for the weak spot. Alright. Buddy, your turn 18. Do whatever you want to do with it. Or maybe don't, because we're gonna kill you. Strafe run. Should be the last... Smoke should dissipate soon. Yeah, one is gone. There's another one here. Interesting. So. Blah, 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 blah. This thing is so dangerous, man. The Emperor. But I feel like we... Wait. 27? For a second, it was like t turn 30. What do you want? And I don't know if that was right or wrong. Okay then, okay. On my way, Commander. We'll deal three damage per missile. I go vigilant. Just in case. 
And we're gonna fire the crap out of this guy now. This is exactly what we need. He's still white on the armor, though. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Ermagerd. Alright, let's see what we can do. Go vigilant. I need that damage reduction right now. Should I also go for an offensive push? My hit chance is not good. No, we'll, do we'll not do it. We just shoot regularly. I could go Warlord on that. Here we go. Fire! I have the hopes that my flying unit can close in on the King Crab and maybe get something done there. Ha! Ha! So... This is unobstructed line of sight. Is it in the zone or is it not in the zone? I am not sure. It originates from here, right? I will accept it, though. I'll do it. Um, let's go Vigilant. Yes. And attack this guy. We need to. We do the Apollo shot since it's the same damage. We drop an arrow on the crab. Yeah. Structure exposed. Good. We have to take him. Okay. Mr. Popo. Get the high ground. Man, this is not a lot. We have two turn 19s. Hold up. Who is 19? The bomber. And the cascatel. I'm wondering if I should go offensive or not. It's not too much of a, of a drawback, so I would say yes, let's do it. Linda is down! Oh, so important! Okay. Good deal. Mmm, Cascatel is gonna hold... ...you, my friend. You can maybe scoot around a little bit. Get another shot out here. Yep, sure. And that's great. Okay. Okay, guys, we're getting there. We're getting there. We have two more enemies. Um, I think Hild is gonna disengage completely. There's... N Let's just stay back and hit the guy, because he's nasty. Yes! That's what you get! Bloody revenge. So, we have another strafe run. The last one, probably. It's not attacking our Marauder and the smoke dissipates. Okay, 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 okay. So, my friend, you're gonna stay there. Holy crap, I wanna use my urban thing again. All right, here we go. The fact that we don't have to adjust our our orientation makes it so that we can always shoot and then move. This is so damn good. Um, I'm not gonna shoot the railgun because I want to get out of the recoil, and we'll shoot just all of the missiles. It's pretty good. There's a lot of interesting loot on the table in the end. So, now we are going to move. Whoop. Twist to the right side, as per usual. You just brace. Sorry, wizard. <laughs> okay, Supercharger is freaking out. But you, my friend, you have one job, and that is finding the battle axe. All right. He dropped another strike. Oh, luckily not on the D-Wolf. Okay, good. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. How many times can you do that? But the good news is we know that he's there. Um, hold up. 
That should do it, right? It is not doing it? Stealthy little guy. Have an arrow. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess what we need is somebody with a better sensor suite. And that guy... Uh, we have to get out of here first. Okay. Good. Yes, that. Um, that guy might be my flying unit. Oh, we found him. Yeah, look at that. There he is. Fire. So... My king crab needs to get out of here. Jump. Yes. Perfect. Uh, do we even fire? I'd say... Yeah, why not? Doesn't hurt us. Increased cooling. Sure. And 19 heat. Yes. This is the guy I wanted. You have a warfare suite, correct? Exactly. So, we're gonna manually sensor ping you. That's right. Uh, and since you have no evasion, that's already it. That's what we needed. Cool. No more missiles. I got some guided bombs. Here we go. Completely missed. But now that he is sensor locked and our railgun is not in recoil right now, there are some options for shenanigans. So we're gonna reserve down to turn 14. We're gonna move just up here, not into the forest, because I want to maintain my perfect line of sight. Then... I cannot Warlord and Offensive push at the same time. Damn it. Warlord is 33 resolve, this is 22, so we needed 55. Interesting. So it's gonna be a regular good old shot. To the leg, 84%. Come on! Oh, we missed. Something exploded. Did we lose him? Mac? No? What was that? I don't know. I don't want to know. I'm gonna brace, okay? Okay, that was awkward. Maybe it was just the, the missile explosion, like, reverb that I, that I heard here. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Alright. Supercharger at 15. Let's turn it on again. Maybe we can get direct line of sight. Cannot sprint. It's broken. I broke it. Okay, so we move. We have fencer push. It's just so that we can then um, attack him easily next round. Yeah, current currently we are not really dealing any damage anyway, so that's uh, crazy. And then again, and again, and again, and again. Uh, here we go. Offensive into your leg, please. We can also get the knockdown. Would be fantastic. Cool. So, some ATMs down. ATMs actually not bad here. Guys, we won it. We did it. We are now just pushing him further and further and further back until we finally have him destroyed. Wizard is no good spot. We're gonna hold. What is it already? Yeah. Let Jamie do it. Moving. He's a good boy. I really like him and the Timberwolf. It's, it's just a great combination of mech and pilot. And weapon systems, for that reason. Blam. The ability to just drop a hundred missiles on the enemies. Each generating one heat. And then another one if you go Inferno. is so good. So damn good. Right. So, turn 16. What do you say now, huh? 
Oh. Ah, Jester has turned 12. He's turned 12! How much do I want to destroy this guy? Yes. The answer is yes. Down he goes. Oh boy! What a mission! But hey, we had our first super heavy on the mech. Uh, on the on the mech? On the battlefield. Our first super heavy mech on the battlefield. And honestly, it performed quite well. I need to figure out with the recoil reduction on the upper arms. It says, I think it only applies to... No, wait, I think it says it reduces it generally, but it might only apply to the arms. If we can drop our recoil by two more, we got it. We can fire that railgun without any recoil. I think it performed quite well. It was good. The one time it hit, it hit. <laughs> it hit hard. <laughs> All right, guys, so we have 19 picks total, so we couldn't even take the King Crab Linda because it's 20 total, it's 1 plus 19. It's good. It's really good. I would actually think about picking it. One, one quick check here. Command make, evasion, ignore gunnery. So regular King Crab quirks, nothing too crazy. There is Mr. Etienne. No, thank you. Psychopomp, by the way. Look at all of this stuff here. We got, like, Battlefist Quirk. That's pretty good for the punch melee attack bonus and the 10% damage bonus. And it has piloting and the blood spot and a hot seat and it's all melee. Just all of it. Signature dampener. Um, upper hardened, lower melee punch, vibro claws. I think they are fixed, by the way. It's good damage. Real good damage. And then Solaris Spikes and double XL Gyro and... Ugh. All of it good. Not my mech, though. Yeah, it actually has some special melee quirks or melee affinities as well. That's not bad. Alright. So, hovercraft, chariots, sure. Don't care about it. I am not opposed to these ATMs, honestly. Maybe make an ATM boat work. Oh, did I sell mine? No. No, I haven't. Light PPCs. Not bad. Not bad either. Bunch of MMLs and NLRM20. It's good damage. 140 damage. Which falls off, but anyways. Advanced optics. We don't need them anymore. We have a critical battle computer. We have a predator. We have more gunnery, which we also don't need anymore, which is kind of crazy. We're so stacked on that. I think we lost the turret mount. And these are generally good. Upper recoil plus. So that's what I mean. Uh, it says, plus one accuracy for weapons mounted on the same location. Negative one recoil with ranged weapons in the equipment's location. So I think it's a no on that then. Because our railgun is on the side also. And these are only on the arms. And we cannot put the railgun on, on the arm. Weapon mount recoil. We don't need them. The watchdog is quite okay. ATM ammo, Hydra, there is the Atlas, everything's broken, this guy was running a combat shield, kind of interesting, okay, so we could take the Atlas or the Dervish for like maximum value, just this, but the engine is gone, yeah, and this is kind of the, the value that we are looking at here. Selling an Atlas is not really giving us a lot. Selling a Dervish neither, right? SRM Acid. Cool. Also engine broken. Yeah. We're gonna just disassemble everything and then go through the list once more so that we can maybe get some goodies out of this. We probably want to also take a look at things that give us money. Let's go. The hack is a bit of money. Ooh. I want to have them. I wanted to make something with large improved heavy lasers work. And these are really good. And we have laser insulators and stuff like that. There is a chance we actually play around with these. And yes, these light ultra gauss rifles are good. 10 tons for 112 damage. Lots of range. 
Evasion ignore, 100% crit, and a recoil of only two, so very manageable. And da -da 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 -da. don't they also deal through armor damage? I thought. Maybe not. But it's good. They're really good. Not gonna pick him though, because if I wanna run them, I'd probably run two of them, and I don't even have ammo for them, so eh, whatever. Critical heat, long range, optics tracking. There's a tracker I wanted. Yes. Yes, absolutely. That's fantastic. Got some cooling jackets here. Imaging. We have one lying around, so I believe we don't need another one. It's fine. Defensive gyro. More jump boosters. Nope. There's another Nova, which I would get it, question mark? Oh man, I need to check my builds again for some things. For example, if everybody has Nova. Okay, I think this is it. Sure. Okay, click that. Bam. So, we get two light PPCs. Sure. We get some medium lasers. Small pulse magna. Fine, whatever. Uh, a boosted bap can go. We can drop the exchanger. We can drop the blood spore. The engine... And that is about it. So, we got some goodies to build around with. Turret mount is good. And so on. But, the biggest question is, and this is the last thing that we're gonna, gonna check out today. Um, what's the repair cost of a super heavy mech? How much does it actually take to bring this thing back on its feet? And repair all the armor and, I don't know, potential criticals and so on. Let's check it out. But guys, while we are waiting for the end screen to pop up, um, please do me a favor, leave a rating, subscribe to the channel for more, because I'm currently pushing for 100,000 subscribers, and if you want to get the notifications and want to help me out a little bit as a content creator, we can do it together by you clicking those buttons. So thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Let's take a look. So my estimation is that since we were crit on the Super Heavy, the Super Heavy alone is 500,000 C-Builds, just to get it repaired. And probably an easy 30 days. Right? Right? Let's check it out. 946,000. It's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. Click that yes button. Manage tasks. Devisturb. 27 days. 370,000 only. Uh, this is fine. But it's a full month that we are not running this mech now. <laughs> and that is the biggest problem of the late game when running super heavies. If they get hit and you have you're suffering, then you have you have to suffer a lot of time. But guys, that has been it for today. As I just said, thank you for watching. Uh, click those buttons, helps me out a ton, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.